announcement on a brand new project coming to the Mishu facility. The top NASA space structure has been building products for nearly 50 years. Today, city leaders and officials with NASA cut the ribbon on the manufacturing center at the Mishu facility in New Orleans East that will connect New Orleans to future space missions on Mars. WDSU reporter Kelsey Davis has that story. Next time you get asked something about Michu, you should stick your chest out very proudly and say, you know, uh, that's a part of my community. NASA Administrator Charles Bolden made a special trip to New Orleans today for the ribbon cutting at the Vertical Assembly Center in Michu. The 170 foot tall facility is the place where, as the name implies, workers will vertically assemble the core propulsion stage of the space launch system. The SLS is the largest and most powerful rocket NASA has ever built and it will launch astronauts to an asteroid and eventually to Mars. The first thing that goes in is the very top, the top dome, and then it's pulled up, lifted up, and the second stage goes in there. Uh, they weld that, and when that's all checked out and inspected, it's raised. They put another segment in until you've got this whole core stage done. While the Vertical Assembly Center here at the Mishu facility will play a huge role in NASA's exploration of deep space and eventually Mars, Bolden says it will also be a huge economy booster for the greater New Orleans area. The mayor of Michou, if you will, uh, has overseen bringing in outside entities like some of our commercial partners. In fact, the Michou property has multiple tenants, including the Coast Guard and a film company, and they employ thousands of people. This new facility means even more jobs for this area. NASA's work right now is, is essentially the, the heart and soul of it, and, and, and so it's a little bit more than a thousand jobs that are just related to SLS. Reporting on your side from New Orleans East, Kelsey Davis, WDSU News. Once the SLS core stage is completed, it will be shipped to the Stennis facility in Bay St. Louis for testing before it goes to Cape Canaveral.